So on this beautiful English spring day, I thought I'd give you my quarterly market overview. Spring is traditionally the busiest time of year for the housing market and 2021 is looking to be no exception. As lockdown restrictions start to ease, record demand and a prolonged shortage of supply is sustaining prices, while consumer and industry confidence continue to grow. There is a spring in the step of many this April as the restrictions imposed for lockdown start to loosen. Families and friends can finally meet, albeit with restrictions. The vaccine rollout continues and elements of the economy are set to reopen for the first time since January. Consumer confidence is at its highest level since before lockdown one on March 2020 and business activity across the UK private sector is recording its fastest rate of growth since August. Both consumer sentiment and business growth have proved stronger than many expected. This view that the economy has proved far more resilient during the latest lockdown than during the first. Against this backdrop, activity in the housing market continues, bolstered by the extension to the stamp duty holiday across both England and Wales and the new 95% mortgage guarantee scheme. Zoopla report that the average buyer demand since the start of 2021 is 13% higher than average levels across the whole of 2020, with demand in March 34% higher than the same period a year ago. More than 80,000 uh, mortgages were approved in February, over 19% year on year. Gross lending was at its highest monthly figure since March, nearly five years ago, and the Royal Institute of Chartered Surveyors report the sales rate per surveyor in February was at its highest level since May 2016. The sales to stock ratio, highest in 10 years. While demand levels remain high, new supply to the market remains constrained and Zoopla report total supply in 2021 to date is down 13%. Although there are tentative signs of slight improvement. New listings at the start of March were only 5% lower year on year compared to a 20% fall in February. Scarce supply supports price growth. The average price of a property coming to the market in March is up in every region of the UK except the Northwest. One in every nine properties is currently selling more than its original asking price, the highest level since August. Price growth in the prime markets continues to outperform the market as a whole and average prices are over 11% higher year on year. The average price of a premium property across all property types with the exception of uh, semi-detached homes is now over a million pound. There was a significant uptick in construction activity during the final quarter of last year, with a number of new private homes started in England up to 17% year on year and completions rising to 11%. Over 40,000 private homes were completed in the final quarter, the highest quarter figure ever recorded. Despite lockdown three, activity has continued into this year. Um, and there's 3.5 billion pound of residential contracts were awarded in the first two months of this year. Almost half of home movers will consider buying a new build property because of the energy efficiency and the peace of mind afforded by warranty and insurance guarantees that are big considerations. Throughout last year, one in every 12 sales was a new build property, attracting a price premium of up to 20% over resale properties. I hope you find this information useful on this beautiful English spring day, and I'll be back next month for my, mar uh, my monthly market overview. This is Damien Merritt from Finding Country Oxford. Thank you.